What's up guys? You know who it is, you know what it is. I'm a little bit pressed for time today. We are actually just gonna jump right into it. We just gotta get this done. Uh, so, before we actually do that though, I do want to talk about what I am actually doing for this map. Because uh, it's a little bit different. So we got my G, he's now a knight once more. We want to build that up anyways, so... It doesn't really hurt me to switch him over to a physical class. Although we do want a gun for Sage. Uh, unlocking the physical job classes on him as well is going to be nice. And since we can't do propositions with him, we basically have to do it the long way, more or less. And since we don't really want to spend any time grinding if we don't have to, uh, getting him through night would be good so they can start unlocking some of the higher level jobs. If I get him up to like a samurai eventually, that'd be pretty cool because he's a very good samurai. But in all honesty, I think dude's probably going to get there first. And speaking of which, she is now a priest. We did the propositions once more and I got equip armor on her as well. Now, the reason for this is that I really, really want some kind of durability on this map, and since she's going to be focusing on uh, going, like, the support route, I think, uh, I, I am trying to gun for dancers, so... Uh, in that sense, she's probably going to have some very powerful support skills at, su at some point or another. But, dancers do not have great HP, so I would have probably wanted to pick up equip armor anyways, since they'll be taking, uh... Well, th there's a lot of range in this game, right? So... She's going to be able to need to survive some hits, even if I put her in the corner or whatever, enemies will still be able to reach her, so equip armor will help us do that. Uh, Muffin is actually a priest as well. Now we're gunning for Sage on her as well, because they do have some pretty good support abilities. Uh, not support abilities, but reaction commands, rather. They have a uh, damage split, which is a great, great, great move. If you played the original game, you would probably know as much, but essentially it reflects half the damage back to your opponent and heals you for the same amount. Uh, if you survive the attack, if you survive the attack, but we still would like to get that obviously because that's not only good damage, but it's also going to keep us in the game a little bit longer. Uh, so that's why we're gunning for that so hard. Also, she is a priest because they actually have a bit higher of a speed multiplier than time mages, I think. Uh, time mages had the higher speed growth, but well, you can see if I switch like uh, my G who is the same level as... Muffin there. They're the exact same level, but if I switch him over to a time mage, he's only gonna have six speed. As opposed to her seven, as you can see right there. Now I gotta now I gotta reset up. Hold on. But yeah, this is what my G is gonna be looking like again. He's a knight. Just gotta get him through that. Uh Muffin and Dude. Like, dude needs to hit every single class eventually, basically. She's gotta put the whole world on her back. Uh butts, he's still butts. He just again, monks are just so good. Their utility is just so high. Free MP healing, man. That can't be understated. Or that, that can't be overstated, I should say. Uh, because the only other alternative to that at this point would really to be buy a bunch of ethers or use abilities like Spell Absorb. However, that still takes the turn of the caster, if that makes sense. But by having butts here independently of that, I can use a caster to attack and simultaneously not have to worry about MP. Uh, because butts has that covered, basically. So that's why that is so good. And I think we're going to roll with those four on this next map. Volanus would have been so, so sweet, but I think Mastadio's got me covered for range. Of course, he gets nailed. <laughs> oh, yeah, Agriasa, hey, I kind of made her more of a mage type thing because I realized that she could hit really, really high magic. Of course, I didn't want her to be a holy knight because then she would just use her sword skills anyways nine times out of ten. But she does have explosion. She does have explosion with ten magic, so that's not too bad in all honesty. And I think the extra range might help her pick some dudes off for me if I need her to, but aside from that, we just gotta get right into this. <laughs> it could be a few tries, honestly. I do remember this one's being quite hard, but I have some idea of what I want to do. Uh, we want to have Muffin behind dude like so. Or mu Muffin behind my G, God, wrong lord, my bad. Uh, so we do that, and then we put butts right there, or we get- no, we should switch the dude. We just switched to do. It would be better if, uh, it'd be better if dude was in the front, I think. And again, because she has equipped armor now, uh, we're not really too worried about her getting dropped before I can do anything. It's a possibility, I suppose. Uh, compatibility willing. But we should be okay. But this, this map is a master. <laughs> That's why I, I really just want to get to it because there's really no telling. There really isn't. This is, ugh, <laughs> this can go so many ways. I don't know who you are, but leave the boy with us. We don't want to fight. Hand Mustadio over and there won't be any trouble, okay? Why don't you leave quietly? Tell Redvich will fight anyone who tries to sway the people. To use war to sway the people. Yeah, I was like, wait, if we just don't like debates around here, I guess. <laughs> then I guess we must take him by force. Here goes! And they're going to do their very best. 
Now, it would seem that they're very far away, but as I recall, these guys don't care about any of that. Uh, we'll see that more likely than not. If my memory's any good, anyways. Hasn't been that long since they played. This only like a year, maybe. No, well, wow, it's actually been a lot more than that, huh? It's been a few years, but I do remember this one being a little bit tricky. You can see now enemies have summoners. Oh, Mustadio, no. What a waste. So you can see the good AI is off to a great start here. <laughs> what a waste. Uh, oh, we actually got the first turn on these guys. They must all be rocking six then. Uh, what was that? Punch Art Elemental. Hmm. With Judo outfits and headgear. So, Geomancers use both their physical and magical attack averaged out to determine the strength of their elemental skills. Uh, so, it would be just like strength plus magic over two, basically. And that's the multiplier on that. So, I think that she should be doing like 80 damage, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. Actually, no, that's not true. I think it's actually skewed towards magic. Maybe it's on screen right now. But she should be doing like 80-ish, and that's not good. <laughs> Especially not in combination with this chick as well. And they both have magic attack up. Oh god. Oh god. We're gonna get cr we're gonna get creamed. <laughs> we're gonna get mauled by those two. And this guy has two swords. Why? <laughs> Isn't it a little bit early for that, don't you think, game? Oh my god. Yeah, you see these summoners over here as well, so even though I've been using Leviathan, you just know they have it as well, so it's like <laughs> I hope you didn't think I'd be the only one who could do that. Defense armlet with counter flood, so we gotta be careful when you take her on. The most annoying thing about this map is that most of the tiles are grassland tiles, which pulls the Hell Ivy Geomancy skill. And that one's really nasty because it can cause stop at a 20% rate. Now, Agrias is, of course, gonna demonstrate that by giving them a nice two panel attack. <laughs> God damn it, Agrias. So here comes Elemental. I guess, uh,. I guess this is as good as an example as any, so please don't confuse me, good. All of the status effects on Elemental have a 20% rate, I do believe. It's either 20 or 25, but I it, I think it's 20. I think it's 20. Oh good, go for Mustadio, yeah, that's what we wanted to see. There goes Hell Ivy, we don't get stopped, but as you can see they do a ridiculous amount of damage considering that happens instantly. Yeah, no charge time on that, it just happens. <laughs> and it can proc really good status effects as well. It is a little bit dependent on where you're standing. Uh, as as the class name would imply, they use like the power of the earth or whatever. So if I'm on grasslands, I get Hell Ivy. If they're on like some kind of rock formation, that's why they got that uh, local quake skill. Oh, what is that now? Is that some kind of comet perhaps? Uh, probably. Now this guy has monk skills, which could be good for me if we can get a nice crystal going. That did nothing. Did he not have martial arts? Because Punch Art does depend. No, he does have martial arts. He's just really bad, I guess. I don't understand why either, though. He has really high brave. What's going on? I guess Scorpio must be bad. Compatibility. No, Scorpio to Scorpio. So that should be good, if anything. Uh, with butts, anyways. Very strange. That guy's very weak. But I'm not going to complain. Oh, no, no, no. No, definitely not. Oh, it's a Demi. And there's a Carbuncle, which is going to cast Reflex. So we don't want to accidentally... Don't want to accidentally target any of that with magic. No, she just cast it on herself. The fool. How selfish can you be? Haha. <laughs> well. That does mean we could potentially go for sleeps on these two. Or even paralyze is probably more accurate. Yeah, it's a little bit more accurate there. Uh, hmm. Now, do I have good compatibility with any of them? Not you, obviously. She just has really high faith. I don't think Gemini is good, is it? Hmm. It's neutral, because we're a Scorpio with her. Uh, Scorpio and Tauros should be... Uh, Toro, Tauros, yeah, the Pokemon. Taurus. Yeah, look at that. So if we go for some kind of debilitation on that guy, we're almost guaranteed to get it. And we weren't bad on you, and she has decent enough faith that I'm feeling confident to go for that move, I think. And then we can handle the two guys on the left. With, like, good old-fashioned Leviathan, perhaps? Uh, <laughs> Those summoners are still something to think about, without a doubt. Uh, if you're 72, then the other guy's like 100. Because his faith was still pretty good. So if I can hit these two with Don't Act, that would be great. That's going to basically keep them out of the fight for so long that by the time they can do anything again, they're going to be uh, they're, they're gonna be the last two guys, basically. Now it's just three spells going off. Yeah, it's just a bunch of spells going off. So if I do that, I can even move next to her and get the boost for myself. 
And we can just watch all this crap resolve. So Mustadio might die, but Demi is fairly inaccurate. Of course he gets nailed. <laughs> For only 29. Uh, Demi is percentage damage, I do believe. Uh, 25% to be exact. Now it's interesting that she actually carbuncled herself and not like that knight in the Geomancer. Because if she had, uh, then I'd be a lot worse off here. It might even be in my interest to pick up the Stadio at some point, to be honest, because that gun is very nice. You still did see that it did 80 damage to that summoner in a single hit. The bigger problem is that, of course, she had HP restore. So this knight should get donated for sure, and this Geomancer will probably get donated. That would be just great. Of course we miss! Uh, but Leviathan should bail me out. I think we can still pop the... I still think we can pop the Geomancer, basically. Actually, if I move, we can hit all of them, but do I want to move? Not really when the knight is useless, so I mean, I might as well just hit the three that are a threat, right? Oh, I do have to move. I do have to move, but I, I, I want to stay on even footing with at least one tile here. I mean, if I'm gonna move, I might as well... Oh no, I can't, I can't, but I, I still want to move though. I still want to move to, I guess, right here. Yeah, actually we can push left and away from those summoners. So if I summon right here, this should get a good number of them. Oh, master of exact damage. Look at, oh, what a beautiful sight. What a beautiful sight. Uh, now, the unfortunate part about this is I'm really not sure if I'm going to kill this chick, but I should. She has 71 faith. And that would be Taurus to... We're not Capricorn, so we should be good. We're not Capricorn or Libra. We're Virgo, in fact, I think, so that's that's fine. Uh, honestly, I'm going to wait with butts again, I think. Maybe. Maybe I want to try to have him gimp this chick somehow. I don't know. She might survive. She very well could. Um, no, we'll, we'll just wait so that, that way I can for sure get the chakra. So here comes our Leviathan. This is going to be at least two. This is going to be at least two, maybe even three. If it's three, then I think that's a very good start here. Especially with that other knight don't act it. Because eventually, uh, essentially if we kill three here, then it becomes a two on five. No, we kill two though. We kill two. Actually, Agrias might pick the other chick up for me. In all honesty, because she should still move first. Yeah, she does. Um, and she can charge an explosion. Which should resolve before... Yeah, I mean, honestly, that should go off. That should go through. And David was the knight, so he can't do anything. Okay, so <laughs> I think we might have ended up making this look a lot easier than it actually is, because... Uh, Getting compatibility with that knight there is pretty nice. He has two swords after all, and uh, I don't think it needs to be said how dangerous that can be. So he has no choice but to run away. I'm actually getting a haste on butts right now as well. And the last thing we need to do is ensure that we don't get mauled by a well-placed leviathan, really. Because that would still do us in, make no mistake. I did actually have a... Uh, did I, or did I leave him without him? No, no, no. Mustadio actually comes with a skill called Stunning Strike, which can interrupt uh, charging attacks. And if you give him the Precision skill set, he can do that, which could be very nice on this map, because again, there's so many summoners, and the last thing you want is a well-placed summon going through on all of your guys at the same time. That's uh, basically a game over if it connects with the right targets. But since Mustadio is going to be taking a nap, <laughs> it seems... I guess we're going to have to make do without any of that. Now, I could almost throw out a Leviathan in such a way that just keeps these guys away from me. <laughs> I'm almost kind of tempted to do that, but... It might be smarter to just wait for them to come in. Agrios is going to blow up that one chick, which is exactly why we gave her Black Magic to begin with. Because Explosion, uh, again, she comes with it for free. You can see she does fairly solid damage. And it has great range. Great range. The only problem with that could have been, I suppose, a potential Carbuncle. Uh, even if she wants to full life, I mean, that's mostly fine. What would suck is a fairy, and I just realized that she can definitely do that. Yeah, <laughs> speak of the devil. Uh, that's not good. Is there some sort of way I can interrupt that? Probably not. 
Probably not, but what I could do is honestly just instantly throw a Paralyze right there. That's almost kind of a move, I think. Alternatively, we can Spirit Surge. Uh, do I have good on either of these guys, or like what? It's just a fairy, right? She shouldn't be able to... If I do this preemptively, we should just redrop her, I think. I should have been paying closer attention to that. I'm going to say that she'll die if I do that, even if she gets hit by the fairy. I'm pretty confident that she will. Now, if only I could have... Uh, maybe I should have moved my Jean a little bit because he does have Magic Break. I don't remember when we picked it up, but we did. We did, so... Now, this full life could be a little bit more annoying. Of course, uh, being that I believe I can get a good Leviathan here. Even if this hits, I should be able to redrop the Geo and then do a hell of a lot to the Summoner. Oh, I'll probably kill the Summoner. She's only got 89 HP to her name. Should have brought a Quip Armor, bud. But this should be a KO on the Geo. Yep, okay, so she's never going to be a problem then, and that's good. That's really good, in fact. Yeah, so we move all in and then throw out one more Leviathan. I'm so sure that this will go through. Yep, easily. And even if we don't uh, KO the Summoner, or the Geomancer, rather, we're not going to KO her, but it's almost sort of irrelevant in a way because she's, uh, she's going to be so low that she's either going to have to run away or somehow get some healing, and I don't see that happening, really. I almost might power break this guy just because he could survive to see another turn, I think. Can't see butts taking him out. Well, maybe maybe he can. Scorpio versus Taurus. No, again, we've already covered. That's good, right? Oh, no, he's on worse because it's opposite sex. Damn. Uh, so I might... Yeah, I think I might power break him, honestly, because if... If he gets a go, that could be annoying. Only 58%, though, hmm. This makes more sense. Of course, I should have moved into range myself, but... Ah, oh well, ah, oh well. No big deal. Getting Agrias going is better for me because she can just blow the night up herself, I'm sure. She has 10 magic, after all, which is a fairly respectable amount. Uh, honestly, we might as well just be a battery again, right? Uh, can't really do too much else. I really can't. But, since so many of my guys are hasty now, I think we should be able to get a cheeky little hit there on that knight before he does anything crazy. And with the other knight actually don't acted, uh, that really couldn't be any better because that's going to mean we have <laughs> the easiest crystals of our lives, basically. And since we had good compatibility the first time, it's not like that suddenly changed halfway through the map, so we can just continuously don't act him if need be. So Agriash should kill the knight, it looks like. Yep. And then anybody can kill the Geo. Honestly, I might run up on her with Dude. I think she could do 15, right? Five times, at least three, right? Oh, exactly three. Hey, look at that. Master of exact damage once more. Unless this is bad. Which it is, I think. No, this is the Scorpio. Yeah, Dude is the Scorpio, so we're good. Uh, I can just strike her down. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. How embarrassing. Nice abandon, by the way. That's a skill that doubles your evasion. I assumed that she had no evasion boosting accessory though. Wait, when did he come back? I didn't see that. <laughs> I'm very dead. I'm very, very dead. I still have revival though, so... Oh yeah, I'm extremely dead. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, do you think a Leviathan just drops him or like what? And she, even if she had Leviathan, by the way, she has Teleport, <laughs> which uh, it works pretty interestingly. I guess when we get it, we can talk about it. Or did I already bring it up? I honestly can't remember. But I assume that I'll buy it eventually, so. Now, is there some way? Yeah, we just need to stay on even footing with ourselves. I'm kind of curious, though, as to whether or not this kills this guy. 
65 times 51 is not great, but we do have good compatibility, I think. Toros and Virgo. Should be. Yeah, so I can drop the Knight or the Summoner. And honestly, I want the Summoner Crystals more. And again, we still have a very good shot to don't act. Uh, a very, very good shot to get a don't act on the Knight. So this makes the most sense. I don't think she can interrupt that. If she can, it's about to go south real quick. Which, I mean, I guess it could. I guess it could. She can't kill me. No, no way. No, I didn't think so. She's just going for broke. And she, of course, gets the poison. Why would she not? Goodbye, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time Strike goes off uh, with two swords, as you can see. So it's two individual swings for that much power. But I don't think that's going to be nearly enough to save him. It's really just not. And we can even bring back... Uh, oh, I guess I have to, don't I? Yeah, we have to bring back Do with uh, with Butts. He's the only one that can do it. He's actually my only revival here, so if uh, if stuff went wrong, it would be terrible. It would be absolutely terrible. Because if he died, that would be a hard time limit. Oh, no, no why did she do that? There goes all my crystal. <laughs> really? And I didn't need him anyways. Why are they after you? Will you explain? Why does she move into range of the other guy? <laughs> if anything, I thought the AI would avoid situations like that. I really did. <laughs> that was... Man, the AI in this game is so weird because sometimes they are just so goddamn smart. Like, they'll do reflect strategies, which is... It's very difficult to actually do that yourself if you're not very, very uh, familiar with the game. Because it, it, it works like geometrical reflection it's it's quite literally that if I am like well it's hard to explain any better than that really but the AI knows how to take perfect advantage of that crap but god forbid they have any sense of self-preservation I guess Ugh, sorry but I can't tell you now how about next map buddy will you tell me then congratulations you got lucky You know, I'd hesitate to even say that, though, because that was a lot of good stuff, potentially. Eh. Oh, well. I did my very best. <laughs> oh, story time. At the office of Egros. Now, which one is this? Hmm. Yeah, it has been a while, but... Ah, right, of course. Do anything to capture Ovelia. The same goes for Agrias and the others. Kill them! What about my G? Dice Dark is a cold bastard, though, I gotta say. <laughs> like, look at this guy casually pouring himself a glass of wine as he's about to order Gav Garion to no doubt come from my head. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. He's a disgrace to the name Beov, and he's in our way. I left him alone because I thought he'd learn how harsh the real world is. I never thought he was that dense. Did his strong sense of justice come from his father? I said, you bastard. Come on, man. My father spoiled him. If he obeys orders, fine. If he resists, we have no choice. Cold as ice, though. <laughs> it's hard to believe his own brother said that. Sickening. I'm saying, why am I agreeing with Gaff Gary, hon? <laughs> what if the Cardinal gets in our way? With the church supporting him, even the prince couldn't do anything easily. I've already prepared for that. There's no need to worry. So that's that. The more I know, the worse you appear. Gavgarian has stones, though, yeah. <laughs> if that's how you'd feel, then you'd best watch your tongue. Don't forget, your head can easily be cut off. Hey, stop that. I'm your loyal servant. It's me, Gavgarian. <laughs> yeah, I'm not stubborn like your brother. Then don't make any more mistakes. Speaking of that... Who did you order to kidnap Ovelia? When I was chasing her in daughter, someone attacked me. What was that about? They found the criminals in the monastery woods, dead. Someone learned of our plan and is trying to stop us. Anyhow, as long as Ovelia is with Agrias, there'll be many chances to get her. I hope so. Uh -oh. I do like how we get to see those guys plotting, though. 
You know, I, I, I'm always a sucker for that sort of thing. I'm always curious what the villain is doing, you know what I mean? It's it's sort of a big disappointment when games don't even bother to, like, explain what they were doing this entire time. And then all of a sudden, in the final act of the game, they show up like they were all important all along or some crap. God, uh, Ashnard from Fire Emblem, man. Ooh, I, I, <laughs> I don't know why I jumped to that immediately, but that would be an example of one that I didn't really like. But I do enjoy the fact that we see just, just how cruel Dyson Arc actually is there. He's like... He's something else, isn't he? He's just like, so willing to throw away my G here. So willing to do it. And that's not even... <laughs> like I said, I'm kind of siding with Gav Gary on it's, uh... It's, it is sickening. I guess it just goes to show how far Dyson Dark is really gone though, and how, how power hungry he is really. This guy's gonna stop at nothing to position himself right next to the throne. And I mean, we can see that in so many different ways with all these different plots. His willingness to throw away Tita, of course, and lie to our faces about it. So it's like, oh man, this game does a very good job of demonstrating that these villains are just that villainous, but they don't they don't seem like mustache twirlers either. Because what they're doing makes perfect sense in context, you know what I mean? They're not doing it just to be dicks. They're doing it because they actually get something out of it. Honestly, because like, like I said, Dyson Arc is positioning himself closer to the throne. If he has some kind of puppet that he can control... Uh, Ovelia in this case, then it's like, he's as good as king, you know what I mean? Or if not him, then the person who benefits from Ovelia being out of the picture the most would owe Dyson Arc a favor, you know what I mean? If he were the one to uh, get rid of this little nuisance, then all of a sudden, he's looking pretty favorable in the eyes of those in power. But... Like I said, I, I am pretty pressed for time. I would like to go on, but I know there's at least one more story sequence right here. Uh, the next map is actually not too hard, so next time I guess we're going to just double up and finish Joel Mustadio's little quest here. Anyways, that's going to do it for me, so thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like rating. It helps me out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you then. Peace.